what are the silver linings to this crisis? Social distancing. Governors or orders. That's how we lead up to why don't we praise God? This is church today. This is church right now. <laughs> if you want to call it that, I really don't. I wish to God that church had never been associated with this kind of activity. I love the worship at this place. I'm not trying to make fun of this pastor or anything. But I have never met a man who calls himself a shepherd, who didn't look like he was on thin ice with God to me. Seminary school seems to be able to teach you everything there is to know about the Bible except those parts that tell you not to assume the headship of Christ. Jesus is the head of the church, not some preacher man in a building. Now there's a time and a place for preaching. I love preaching. There's a time and a place for everything according to the Bible. I think maybe the time for places like brick and mortar churches is over. I look at this man standing outside this building. Wait, wait, was that, was that Star, Star Wars, Wars bit, bit, bit distracting? distracting? It's distracting, distracting when you when do, you it, do in it in church, church too. too. Or talk about Disney princesses. I once heard a sermon back in Kansas 20 years ago. The preacher man for that day said that Beauty and the Beast was a story about loving the unlovely. I don't know how you missed the boat on that one. That it was straight up an introduction to bestiality for children. I mean, Disney sucked so many of us in. I know grown human beings that never got out. Churchgoers. Family members that don't know any better than to feed this kind of nonsense to their children. Did you notice the birth canal there? Boy. And the Christian cartoons, they try and show our children instead of doing any kind of Sunday school, ain't any better. It's disgusting, frankly. I feel like I'm running backwards everywhere I go. Nothing makes any sense anymore. Can't even have a conversation about God with the pastor of my church. Because he doesn't seem to understand who he is. What a world. Sometimes I get fed up with all this civilization. Just want to get out of here. Only one way. He's coming back soon. I look forward to seeing him in glory. Coming on the clouds. Until that day, there's only one thing left to do. Keep watching the skies. 
in hope of his eminent and glorious return. Jesus is coming back. When he does, will he find faith on the earth? I think so. Is it going to be in a building? I doubt it. Oh my gosh, nothing cuter than UGA fans' faces after that touchdown from Tua. You remember that touchdown? That was 30 seconds.